the real reason you are stuck in sin is not because you can't overcome it. It's not because you don't have the strength. There's actually two main reasons why you are stuck in that sin. And I know I struggle with this myself. And one is a heart issue it's that you don't want to let go of that sin. It may not be that you don't want to let go of that sin. It may be that you don't want to make the sacrifices in order to get rid of that sin. Because I remember when I was stuck in that sin, I kind of just tell myself, oh, I'm going to just stop. I'm going to keep living the way that I want to live. I'm going to keep scrolling on social media all day. But I just want to stop. I want to cut off this sin because it makes me feel guilty. But every time I got to that moment, I would end up falling back into that sin. So no, you can't just say, oh, I want to give this up. I just want to give lust up. I just want to give drugs up. I want to just give up lying. I want to just stop being prideful. Yes, that is the first step in order for you to change. You have to want to stop doing those things. But you also have to be willing to make the sacrifices like maybe stop watching social media, maybe finding the root cause of what's causing you to lust, what's causing you to pride, be, be prideful. Once you find that root, that is when you need to cut it off and make that sacrifice. And it's even a sacrifice finding the root because you may need to just test things. You may need to test sacrificing certain things to see if that is the root cause. Because me personally, I didn't even know the root cause that was causing me to sin when I was stuck in my bondage. But one thing I did, I did test a couple things. I tested secular music. I tested hanging out with certain friends. I tested, was I praying enough? Was I reading the Bible enough? And when I started testing those things, that's when I started figuring out, oh, that was a root cause. Secular music was affecting intrusive thoughts. And when I figured out that, that is when I found out the real reason why I kept falling back into sin, which was not because I didn't have strength. It wasn't because I didn't want to. It was because I didn't know how to. There was also at times I didn't want to. So that's why I needed to change my heart. And the only way I was able to do that is when I had the encounter with Christ. Because when I had my encounter with Christ, that is when I really genuinely built a relationship with God. I was no longer reading the Bible for a chore. I was no longer going to church for it. So I actually loved going to church for like the first time. I started to love reading my Bible. And that's when God started to renew my mind, renew my heart. And I know it may sound cliche of like, oh, I had an encounter with Christ. But when you feel God's presence for the first time, you know he's real. And the way that you do that and the way that you encounter Christ, you don't even look for the encounter. You just seek for God. You seek a relationship with God and then his presence will come. You seek the highest power and then his presence will come and he'll show you the truth. The word says, seeking you'll find, knocking the door will be open. So if you are seeking with a genuine heart, seeking for the truth, seeking for a change, then that's when God will come and encounter you. As I was seeking in the word, continuing to read the word, gaining more wisdom and knowledge, I started to find out about the spiritual side of the Bible, realizing the difference between the spirit and the flesh. Now I notice when I need to start feeding the spirit more or when I'm feeding the flesh too much, I now have discernment with certain things because the Holy Spirit will convict me. Now, if I didn't have the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't be able to stay away from lust. If I didn't understand the spiritual side of things, then I want to be able to continue to stay away from certain sins. I want to be able to win certain battles because how am I supposed to win a battle that I don't know that I'm in? So you have to learn how to fight certain sins in order to do that. And you need to read the word. So the real reason why you keep falling back into sin is because you need to change your heart. You need to really say, I don't want to do this no more. Because if you don't, when that temptation comes, you're going to only use 50% of your strength. And if you use 50% of your strength, it's just going to continue to fall. And two is you need to learn how to fight. You need to learn how to fight that battle. You need to find the root cause. You need to start feeding your spirit more than your flesh. You need to cut off the bad habits. You may, you may need to cut off social media for a while. You may need to cut off certain friends. You may need to start seeking God, go on an isolation period. And when you start to do that, that's when you'll get filled with his spirit. That's when you'll start having the fruits of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, most importantly, self-control. So change your heart, continue to see God so that God can renew your mind and renew your heart and so that you can stop falling to those same temptations. So y'all stay blessed.